month of love. And this month, we want to talk about how to love yourself better. <laughs> oh, was it? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, well, as a guy, I actually do love the month of February. While we're on that point, guys, it's only about two weeks, less than two weeks until Valentine's Day. It's on a Sunday. Bit of a hint. Get out there. It. Yeah, exactly. Take it from a girl. Don't forget. <laughs> so question, do you love yourself? Now, I remember growing up as a kid, if someone, what was that wink for? <laughs> it wasn't a wink, it was an eyebrow raise. <laughs> I remember growing up as a kid, if somebody said you loved yourself, that was the worst thing you could possibly do because it just said you're into yourself and you love yourself so much. And as far as being a real estate agent goes, a lot of people have that impression that we all love ourselves and we're into ourselves too much. In fact, I have a lot of clients and when I initially start talking to people, agents say, I don't want to be like that agent. I don't want to act like that because they come across like they love themselves too much. Well, the good news is we've got ways how you can actually love yourself and put it across, but in a way so it's actually attractive to other people and not repelling to other people. So that's the solution. Now, as a company, I'll just throw this in to give you a bit of an idea where we're heading. We have two values, only two. Number one is servanthood, and number two is abundance. We've even got our own hashtag, which is? Serve to abundance. Yeah. So what that means, basically, is we want to do as much serving, serve people as much as we possibly can so that they have an abundance in their business, abundance of clients, abundance of leads, etc., etc. So that's what it's all about. That's our brand. That's who we are. So we want to talk about branding, your brand, who you are. And as Jeff Bezos said, that branding really is what people say about you when you're not in the room. Now, we've actually created a seven-step system on how you can personally build your brand. Now, as you know, real estate now is all about being a brand within a brand. You may work for one of the big franchises or a boutique agency, but as the agent, you are your own brand within whatever brand that is. And that is so important a point to get across because people don't want to deal with real estate agents. They've got a reputation, but they do want to deal with somebody who is nice. They want to deal with a person who is going to help them serve them, achieve their dreams. And that's what your brand is all about. There's a big emphasis at the moment all around the world, and it's really only just starting to become a mainstream thing. It's been underlying for a long time, but your brand is who you are. So building your brand and getting your brand out in the community is what it's all about now. So instead of just chasing listings and sales and do one thing and one thing, you put your brand out there, you get a reputation, you actually attract people to you. People want to deal with you. So I'll give you some examples of uh, some brands that you will definitely know. And you'll probably know the tagline. Actually, Maddie, let's see if you know the taglines of these. Okay. All right, Nike. Just do it. Wheat Bix. Aussie kids are? Wheat Bix kids. Jeez, okay. Aeroplane jelly. I like aeroplane jelly. Yes. Aldi. Okay, you don't watch enough Sorry. TV. Aldi, good, different. You know it now, don't you? Sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they're different brands that you would probably already know and have heard of and know what they're about. So when people see your face, your name, your company name, etc. What do they think? Do they know what you're about? Do they know who you're selling property for and to? Do they know what type of property, what area you work in? What is your reputation? What is your brand when it comes to people? When people see your face, your name or your company name, are you just another real estate agent? Or do you have a reputation for selling a certain type of property? a certain echelon of property, uh, farms, waterfront properties, average suburban properties, townhouses, units, investment properties. Do you have a reputation for anything in particular that you actually sell as a real estate agent? This is part of building your brand. Now, a lot of people think initially your brand is your logos, color. Tell us, tell us more about that, Matty, your logos, colors, etc. being our creative 
director yeah so your logos your colors your fonts um, even your language are all super important to center um, who you are and bring that as Kingsley was saying that connotative meaning to to your brand so when people see your brand they know uh, what they're gonna get from you so um, as he mentioned you might just be in the um, real estate market with units or you might just sell beachfront properties or you might sell um, you know acreage whatever it is uh, all of the language that you use the colors the fonts the logos that all uh, work together to connote certain meanings for your brand and to represent who you are what you do what you sell um, yeah perfect so that logo your colors your fonts etc that probably equates to about five percent of your actual business that is not your brand it is one small portion of your brand as I said earlier, Jeff Bezos says, your brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room. Now, I've got a client who actually, along the rural property area, he sells farms and acreage lifestyle properties. When we first started working together, he didn't know what his brand was, who he was, or anything else. After a little bit of um, querying and things, we worked out he lives on a farm in a rural community. And there's a lot of lifestyle and community uh, areas there and he tends to sell a lot of them. So he's actually indirectly building up a brand and he didn't even realize it. But then we started to put together the languaging, the things that he posted on his social media, his videos, everything like that was all around this type of thing. Another client, um, they lived on waterfront property. They had a boat. So they wanted to sell that type of property. So if you're going to sell your type of waterfront property, there's four agents you get in or a, a potential client will get in to interview to do the job of selling their property. If only one of them has lived on a waterfront property, knows what it's like to own a boat and about the tides and the issues that go with that and the good things about that as well, it's quite easy to differentiate them from anything else. Another client, before he got into real estate and started his own office, he was in investment finance and he knew everything about investment in real estate, in property. Uh, he had a few investment properties himself. And so his brand, we talked about investment, about property investment, about returns, about things you could and couldn't do with investment, about loans, all that sort of thing. So he got known as that brand and that's who he is and that's a reputation. And it goes on and on and on in all sorts of different ways depending on experience, hobbies. Another client we've got, he's a golf nut, absolute golf nut, as often he can be. He is out on the golf course. He's got a reputation with a whole ton of golfers out there and a different club, so guess where we're steering his brand? And he's so happy about it because he gives him more excuse to actually go down to the golf clubhouse and spend time there. So that's what this is all about, and it goes a lot more in depth than that, but as I mentioned earlier, we've got a seven step system that we talk about building your brand and putting your brand so it is uniquely you. So you will get called into more listing presentations. And when you're doing the listing presentations, if there's four agents gone for it and you're the one that hits the, the mark as far as whatever it is that your specific brand is, you're going to be way ahead of any other uh, agent that's going in to present. So you don't need to worry about so much about how well you did and everything else obviously you need to put your best foot forward but if your brand sticks out from anybody else you've got the job and that's how it works so over the next month we're going to be talking about your brand about what you can do pushing forward your brand building your brand we're going to go through those seven steps we're going to give to you every single step that we charge money for for people to be able to build their brand and their reputation and get out to win more listings Okay, so Maddie, explain a little bit more about brand as far as one brand compared to another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, what we like to say is branding is uh, not just function, but it's actually the name. It's what's appealing. So an example of that might be um, take Spend Less Shoes, for instance, and Christian Louboutin Shoes. Both are a pair of high heel stilettos. Um, and one spend less shoes might be comfortable, uh, quite affordable, and they just get the job done. Whereas the connotative meaning for uh, Christian Louboutin shoes is wealth, um, elegance, sophistication, uh, quite corporate perhaps. And so really they're the same product. Perhaps, you know, Christian Louboutin might be slightly better in quality, but 
uh, the comfort level isn't even there. So uh, the Spendler shoes are quite a functional product, but the desired product is the Christian Louboutin shoes because of the connotative meaning that it gives to people who see what you're wearing. Um, so people will go, wow, they're, they're wealthy, they're successful, uh, they're quite sophisticated. Whereas if you have a pair of Spendler shoes, you're simply getting the job done. Um, so as I said, it's... Uh, Function over appeal. Sorry, not function over appeal. It's um, appeal over function. We want people to desire your brand, not just go, I'm going to go to you as a real estate agent because you're going to get the job done. But uh, you're a very appealing real estate agent. I desire to work with you because you, etc., etc., and whatever the connotative meaning that you have created for yourself is uh, with the brand that you've created. So. Exactly. And so that's what we want to do when we're talking about brand. And we want you to be able to do as well, whether you do it by yourself, whether you work with us, however it is, we want to give you that brand. So you're the desired brand. So people will actually even pay more money to you because you're desired, you've got the reputation, you've got the brand, and they believe you can do a great job and even get them more money and do it in a quicker time frame and take the stress out of what they're doing. So there's a way to build that brand. Like I said, we're gonna take you through these seven steps to be able to do that for yourself. If you wanna work with us at any time, by all means, happy to do that. Get in touch with us. Our details are gonna be down below here, around here somewhere you'll find them where you can contact us. If you've got any questions at all, just send us a message. It's We're more than happy to just help you through this process. There's no obligation, no nothing. It's about helping you. It's about serving you to abundance. That's what it's about. And if you've got any questions, like I said, get in touch with us. Let us help you through this journey. Create your brand. Help your business grow this year. Yeah. I think at the end of the day for February, what we would love to do is help you fall in love with yourself again, which yeah. is what it's all about. So recreating your brand or helping to elevate it so that uh, you are the desired or the appealing company or business that people want to work with. Appeal over function. We want to help you fall in love with yourself and help <laughs> others fall in love with you too. Not in a creepy way. No, just in a business way. Okay.